How to fix Ethernet doesn't have a valid IP configuration error. First off, you can't use Wi-Fi and Ethernet at the same time so decide which to use and turn off slash disconnect the other. Possible solution 1, step 1, uninstall current network adapter from device manager. Launch the option. Scan for hardware changes later. Step 2, reset with sockets or by reinstall TCP slash IP settings by running the below commands as the admin user. Netshare Winsock reset Netshare and IP reset step 3, release and renew IP address by running the below commands as the admin user. IP protocol configuration slash release IP protocol configuration slash flushes IP protocol configuration slash renew solution 2, save your work, shut down your system. Unplug your modem slash router, if you have any, and leave it unplugged for at least 30 seconds. Plug the modem slash router in again. Once your modem slash router has completed its self-test, power up your PC and test your internet connection. Possible solution 3, step 1, run network troubleshooter. Possible solution 3, step 2, update network adapter using unzipped official installation files. Step 3, reset. TCP slash IP by running the below commands as the admin user. Note, if you installed your Windows on a different disk, you need to specify a directory path for the log file. Netshare and IP reset C colon backslash reset log dot text. Netshare and IP reset reset log dot text. Reboot your computer. Then, you too give the following commands ago, IP protocol configuration slash release IP protocol configuration slash renew optionally. Reliable multicast protocol on client for Microsoft networks. Solution 4. One, try updating your network card drivers, router, and adapter firmware. Below's the complete to-do list you can try, things to try first, i.e., restart your modem and wireless router, run the network troubleshooter followed by networking commands, update the network adapter driver, roll back the network adapter driver, temporarily turn off firewalls, temporarily turn off any antivirus or malware prevention software, note this action will frequently require the admin access, uninstall the network adapter driver and restart, use network reset to reinstall network. Devices, help Microsoft improve networking in Windows 10. See details at https colon slash slash goo.gl slash hdssbn. Fix network connection issues in Windows 10. Step 2, if your Windows drivers are not available for the network card, then try installing Windows drivers in its compatibility mode. Step 3, repeat the above mentioned step 3 and possible solution 3. Other voice... web 1 back up your personal data 
Restore your computer back to previous settings. 2. Contact your ISP for more advanced fixes. 3. Reboot, your PC, your Wi-Fi based device. 4. Check your network card driver for updates. 5. Try using a different IP. 6. Reset TC. Slash IP by running netshare and IP reset C colon backslash reset log dot text as the admin user. 7. Disable and re-enable your NIC, network interface card, later. 8. Write down current connection settings. Try using an automatic IP and slash or DNS server. 9. Disable fast startup. 10. Disable IPv6. For power users. To H key underscore local underscore machine backslash system backslash current control set backslash services backslash TCP IP6 backslash parameters, create a new D word, 32 bit, value, name that item as disabled components, set FFFFFFFF into it. 11. Disable Microsoft Kernel Debug Network Adapter in Device Manager. 12. Assign a MAC address to network address. Get your MAC address by running IP protocol configuration slash all. Open network and sharing center. Now configure your own networking controller. 13. Enable the DHCP client service. Fourteen. Perform a CHKDSK scan as the admin user. Fifteen. Uncheck allow the computer to turn off this device to save power option in your own networking controller. 16. Try connecting your PC directly to your router, if you have any. 17. Head to computer key underscore local underscore machine backslash system backslash current control se backslash t control backslash nsi, open the first entry, locate a sub item name 26, check out the permissions tab, and enable full control in allow column. 18. Disable QO.
on your router. 19. Update your BIOS. 20. Connect your power line adapter to a different outlet. And, sync power line adapters one by one. Last but not least, try more troubleshooting tips at https colon slash slash goo.gl slash wdf9fs. Windows 10 help, the network and internet part.